Good morning, everyone. It's the start to my day. I'm just leaving the house after paying bills and answering comments on the computer. And uh, it's been raining here uh, the last few days, so the lambs haven't been out. They've been in. They don't like the rain or the mud that the yard has been having. So um, today I see Arnie's got them all running around the yard again. So they're happy. So I'm going to just go around and feed my birds and do my chores and keep an eye on these guys, crazy guys, while I'm doing that. I see there's a bunch gone in the backyard again, which I don't like because I'm actually concerned that uh, some of these plants may not be good for them, although now uh, we have had freezing, so I'm guessing uh, they're okay. What are you guys doing back here? What are you guys doing? This is a deck. It's not really for sheep. My goodness, they're bold. I think they're shy animals, but they soon get to learn a little routine. Hey, would you guys like to go through that gate? I do have a back gate to the yard. Maybe they can go through there. Let's see if I can get this open. Katie, come here. Katie, come here. So I have a back gate here and I got it open thinking that I could get all these guys rounded up to go in back into the yard. Hi, 44. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. But now they've got free range to go back and forth. Oh, actually, now they're all going back through, so that's good. Smart little things. So they're real happy. Running around the yard. Oh, here comes Toonie. Toonie, what are you doing? Ah. What are you doing? You are a noisy thing. You've got the worst voice. You do. You're so loud. You're loud. Yeah, you're the only one. Oh, no, now others are following you. And we'll see what's on today's agenda. Yeah, sheep everywhere you look. This is a good life for them. They'll be happy. Hopefully their new homes, they'll have uh, uh, good lives too. Because uh, these uh, ewe lambs are going to be marketed off soon. Because it's hard to believe that they're already uh, getting close to weaning. It's a cold one today, but it's sunny. You guys, there's tools up there. You think we haven't been doing much because I haven't had much sheep stuff going on, but uh, we've been renovating the house on our time off, quote unquote. And so Arnie's got tools and stuff all over the porch and pieces of wood. And you guys probably shouldn't be around that stuff. Yes. I'm sure other people's houses aren't like Hey Jerry, how you doing? Oh, and hello Jezebel. It's that time of day again. Still no other playmates for these two. There is a Suffolk ewe that she's looking close, so they could have some little black friends soon. We just figure that these two are so far, far behind the other group and it's a large group although I'm sure they'd love to run around and play in the yard with them I think they're still a little young for that so we're just gonna leave these guys in here uh, where they can have one-on-one uh, -on -one attention with their mom until they get a little bigger because it doesn't seem to bother Jessie Still pretty happy about everything. Hey, Jezebel. Jezebel. She's still our typical self. She can't walk anywhere. She has to run and jump. She's the funniest lamb. She's 
so full of personality. And you're done. You can go play with your sister now. Yeah, you can play with your sister. You don't do the run and jump, do you? Just a quick check outside before I move on and do the back of the barn to see that no lambs are wandering to the road. Some of them have now decided that they can leap into the vegetable garden. It's all frozen off now because we've had a few frosts, but I see they they do like that Swiss char. They've totally demolished what was left of that. Okay, the back. How you guys all doing? Oh, yeah. How you guys doing? Looking good. Looking good. Hey, huh? You're a sweetheart, eh? You are really nice. Checking out the other ram pen. And there's Andre's ram. Still looking pretty good. I'm going to take a quick check at these guys. Make sure nobody's lambing. Same old routine. Loosen the salt and mineral off. Extremely cold. There we go. There we go. Sometimes on the hay feeders, you can see uh, there's a little line in the middle. So um, when that happens, uh, just so that they can finish it off before we put it in the new bale, um, I just kick it over to them. Kick it in. They're all eating, and tonight they'll get a fresh new bale. So this barn, um, where the pregnant ewes are, we call it the old heifer barn. It has windows up top because it's an old barn. Normally we would like windows lower down than that, but that's what it is in here. So those are open uh, most of the year, but right now with the cold weather coming in, um, last night, Arnie angled them all down. They're still open for fresh air to circulate in here, but like my hands are freezing. It's supposed to be minus seven this morning. Still no snow, but it's cold. Um, these guys are all adults and have a good amount of wool on them, but um, the reason he's uh, cleaned it up a bit is this is the girl with the udder. And... Uh, if you remember her a few days ago, you can see just in a few days her udder has grown and it's um, it's starting to firm up a lot more. So we uh, have the windows closed just in case she has a lamb when we're not around. And in these temperatures, uh, if the lamb isn't up nursing quickly and with Suffolk sometimes it is a slower process. Um, the lamps can go hypothermic very quickly when they're wet in uh, minus uh, 7 degrees Celsius temperatures. So um, the windows being closed just cuts down on any wind. And you can see there is another one. She's starting to develop an udder too. A few of them are... Um, oh, here's two more. They're on their way. Oh, maybe another one. In the winter, our farm is basically a confinement system, even though we do uh, let the sheep out even in the winter to run around. But uh, we only have so much space, and so the rams are always um, outdoors. The the adult rams and this is their lean-to so it faces south so even on a cold day like today uh, this area is actually quite toasty if you're laying in the sun um, it's open to the elements but just in case it does get blowy and blustery blustery um, we do have a little built-in area back here Still, it's open, no doors, but uh, they can go in there and grab shelter if, uh, if things get really nasty. Even in our climate, with minus 20, sometimes minus 30 degree temperatures, the rams, as long as they have a nice little bedding pack and a place to get out of the wind and wetness, 
and uh, some wool on them. They seem to do just uh, just fine out here. Okay, so my discussion today is going to be about how crazy we are with these uh, lambs running around, me talking to them in silly voices and uh, petting rams and ewes and making jumping boxes and cuddling them and all the things you wouldn't assume that a full-time farmer would do. I think you see that more in the hobby farms where they can actually enjoy their animals and and love them the way we do but um, there is some uh, method to our madness. Um, if you have tame friendly sheep they are way way easier to work with. Um, there is nothing worse than funny guys we're going back to the barn nothing worse than having to run and catch sheep and I mean we still have to do that but it's a lot more calm than in some situations and when people come to see them they're not uh, panicked and tearing all over the place and if they have any kind of problem with lambing and birthing even I can get up to a Suffolk ewe who's gonna weigh you know with lambs and stuff in her close to 300 pounds and uh, so the management side is easier when they're friendly like this and as I mentioned in another video when I was feeding a bottle lamb and how he drank better when I actually hugged him and had him on my knee it's the same in general with uh, the lambs if you are talking to them and petting them they are happier and happy creatures eat more so if you're eating more and content um, you are growing better so that is also good for commercial it's good for breeding stock it's good for the animals health so I guess it's a heyday for this farm don't be afraid to love your lambs and your sheep. Uh, in the end, it works out for you. And, you know, some people might say, I just don't have the time to be playing with my sheep. I've actually timed it on days where I'm running through because I have something to do and I can't spend time with the sheep. On those days, my day spent at, time spent at the barn is usually only like 10 or 15 minutes more than a normal day that I rush through. So it really doesn't take much time and it also does give you a chance to really see how well your sheep are doing. Um, if you're touching them and feeling them you can feel if there's a lump or if their bones are uh, showing uh, through. All kinds of benefits to being able to handle and be nice to your sheep. Not to mention the feeling it makes, gives you uh, raising your endorphin levels which are generated by happy feelings. And with mothers, the endorphin levels make them let down their milk uh, better as well. So it's, it's all good. So when you're thinking that I'm crazy, you are probably right. But uh, the madness has a definite bonus. Cut them back on the amount of feedings and the amount of milk they're getting right now. It's just bare minimal. In a couple of weeks they'll all be off. So he's going to roll out a bale and I think I mentioned it before in other videos. Um, even when it's not a fresh bale to make them think it's fresh go through your hay each day as it's sitting there they don't want to eat it if they think it if it's stale or flat or whatever so just uh, lift it up and kind of fluff it up a bit you'll get them to eat way way more hay that way um, again it has to do with it being fresher and maybe knocking off bird droppings or any dust that settled and the smell from the barn that settled in the feed 
and plus uh, the other thing is like I've said many times is that they don't want to fight for their food so if you fluff it up it's looser and easier to eat see how that lamb's piece there it's that that hay is right here it's smooth where it came off the bale I don't know if you can see that where the ewes are eating it but with the lambs he just took it and fluffed it up a little bit more because they're smaller smaller mouths and so for them it's easier to eat it that way and I know I talk about feeding all the time but feeding is a critical part to having good sheep. People always think it's magic or whatever. Genetics is one part. Invest in the best genetics you can possibly find with the best confirmation. That gives you the start. But to maintain that, if you don't keep up the feed levels and the quality of feed, spending money on genetics isn't gonna help you at all. It is about feed. Um, Animals that are fed better will have more lambs. They'll have healthier lambs. They'll be healthier. They will grow bigger. Um, and that can be demonstrated with humans. If you look at look at uh, human remains from you know 500, 200 years ago, people were on average a foot shorter than they are today. We're the same people. The only thing that's changed is that now we are we do have agriculture and a constant source of food and so we are eating more. That can be a bad thing if it leads to fat of course, but if you're eating well and you're eating more over time your your animals as in people will get bigger and stronger and uh, I think everybody wants to see that in their sheep. So he rolled that bale out in like two minutes. Not a big deal. So the lambs feed at the end of the trough. We have our replacement ewes on one side, some lambs at the front, and then the divider wall. And it's in the shade, so I don't think you can see it. But this is our skinny ewe here. She's still skinny, but She's getting quite an appetite now. Extremely good sign. She still doesn't look so hot. But she's uh, much brighter, livelier. We, we think she's actually going to pull through. And this time, by the spring, hopefully you can't tell her apart from yours. There they all are. So when he gets to the end, uh, sometimes he'll leave the, the bale up there and just roll it out later. But today, I guess uh, he's rolling it back. Everybody's at the trough. No use off to the side. So I can, just by that, I know that all the ewes are feeling good. It's a nice time of year because uh, you don't have too many issues. That's why we spend a lot of time in the lamb barn. If there's going to be any issues with or problems, it's going to be with the lambs because they're growing. Um, but we haven't had any lamb losses either yet this year, knock on wood. But for the ewes, it's just maintaining them. Uh, the problems start when the lambing starts. And hopefully uh, there's not too much problem with that either. Yeah, the only problems you're having at this time of year is the odd you might get mastitis if she's got lambs and you'll be dealing with environmental problems, um, wet conditions causing scald or uh, maybe sheep getting cold. Getting cold sheep is a rare problem. Um, it's mainly mud and stuff like that and in the summer when they don't have lambs, the the problem will be environmental too with the ewes, uh, usually associated with parasites. So much easier on your ears when they're eating. It's actually peaceful. But again, uh, 
like I said, it's minus seven this morning and we have a breeze still. So the curtains are up. They are open a crack and a little bit more on the other side so that we have flow and the doors are open on both ends. So it is like being outside still, but we have the curtains up just to cut uh, wind and draft from the lambs. I don't believe they should have to sit in a, in a draft, but we still want them to have the fresh open feel and uh, it's not any warmer in here, it's just less drafty. So now we're in the one of the breeding barns and uh, we're just, everyone's been fed, everyone's happy and healthy. Uh, this barn, the, as in the other uh, barn with the lambs, the, the curtain is divided in half, uh, meaning that uh, we can open the front half and leave the back half closed or vice versa. So we have a little more flexibility. Our other coverall that will be going in last has one a straight curtain, which we don't like because we have to roll down the whole thing or roll up the whole thing. There, We don't have the flexibility. But you learn when you put up uh, these buildings what works best. And the divided curtains are way better. But uh, in here we had a strong wind coming in from the north. So this barn we have a roll up door at the end. So we've left the curtains wide open here for flow and the front door is well, all is open unless it's really brutal. But if we're going to get bad winds, it's coming in from the north. So uh, we've yet to install a barn door on the end of the lamb barn, but that's uh, next year's project. Uh, this year, once the weather gets really bad, we will just board it up until spring. But uh, these guys, uh, it was wicked last night. So we closed the door and you can feel it right away. Uh, we do have the cross flow with the curtains and the front door, but I don't feel that brutal, brutal wind blowing over me. And so maybe the sheep don't need it, but the humans sure do. So uh, it's much, uh, much nicer in this barn today. This is General's group. General is basically a friendly ram, but in the breeding group, he is a little more defensive with his use, so you have to watch your back with him. And he's a big guy. So, like I've said before, you get to know your sheep. This guy is no problem at all when he's not in with use. With use, he is a little more aggressive and defensive. Not too bad, but... Uh, he, he lets you know that uh, these, this is his group and he doesn't want you around them. And we uh, don't frown on rams that do that. I mean, it's their job to be with the ewes and to be pumped up uh, with testosterone when they're in breeding season. So it is just the way it is. But uh, we don't tolerate it when they're not in a breeding group. Whereas Snappy here on the other side... You can always walk in with his group. He still is looking out for his ewes, but uh, he has a very, very good disposition. Last barn of the day. There's Geronimo. You can easily walk in this pen. He is not aggressive. Um, but Hamish on the other side is aggressive. You can see some big bellies on some of these girls. Yeah, I was looking at her. She's got a belly too, this one. We'll see, hopefully. Didn't see him. I think this one might have a bag. Um, she's looking at us kind of um, in the middle of the, with the black on her neck. Unless those are um, old hang bags, which I don't think they are, she's definitely got another. Well, I think it's about the middle of uh, the middle of uh, Hi. has that fish on it. Uh, probably earlier. I would see how much I would do maybe uh, beginning of December. So maybe in another week we're going to be giving our Glamvac six shots to these girls. 
so that uh, they've had their yearly shot and the lambs are covered until they're old enough to get their shots. And it just covers all the sheep diseases um, as well as casia curtain. It's all one piece. Arnie's on the other side um, because uh, there's a little bit of ice roll up on the uh, ice buildup, sorry, on the rollers. So he's just kicking that off so that they will move more freely. This side's up, the back door is open, and this side's totally down, and the front is open. But like I said, we would, we don't like this uh, one piece, 150 foot long curtain. It's just uh, too much. It should have a div be divided in half.